style beer usually helps with this song. looking so I'm pretending I'm saying something extremely important. <laughs> Here we are it's 2011 Mayfest aka German Fest held in the spring each spring in Chicago. This is my personal eighth count it eight. Eighth. Yeah. This is uh, basically the biggest summer festival I think it kicks off all the street fests in Chicago in the summer. It's a good event, everyone gets out. We got some German bands playing, and the big thing is we've got beer tents, which serve your classic imported beer from Germany, which is uh, Hofbrau. Hofbrau. How's the Hofbrau taste this year, bro? It's fresh. It's a fresh batch. Fresh. Fresh off the boat from Germany. Check, check. Oh, we're live. Check, check. Hey, we're down here at uh, Lincoln Square Mayfest. It is 2011, and we found somebody that's not drinking. We can't talk to the baby, but we have a baby whisperer in the house. Yeah. Baby whisperer, what do you say? Let me hear, let me listen. I think it said, I like the Hofbrau. <laughs> it likes the Hofbrau. I just, I've just been informed of a major, major development. We've got. A two beer limit for, it's all right, I already got it. We got a two beer limit for Mayfest, aka German Fest. That means, in theory, you're, on, you're only allowed to order two of these total because they're so potent. Some people argue that it's two at the same time. It's, it's subject to debate. So, all right, guys, so I'm here, Mayfest 2011, and I have to talk about something that's very important to me and my Mayfest dependencies. So right here is a book of tickets. This right here, you can't, there's no currency here. These Germans do not like currency. So you need to buy this ticket book. But I got a little secret. They give you 10 tickets and you can buy one of these bad boys right here for $10, 10 tickets, $10. If you do the old, uh, Skimaroo, <laughs> take two of these off the top, put it in your pocket, walk up to the counter and slide this packet. I'll get one of those the same as if I handed them 10. Um, I shouldn't be telling you this because you have to come here at least five times to know this information, but those are just some veteran moves I like to share with everyone. Here we here we are at Mayfest 2011, Chicago, Illinois. What does Mayfest mean to you, sir? Mayfest, well, there's a lot to it. Uh, but uh, basically, it's celebrating spring and fertility. Indeed. Indeed. Are you feeling okay. fertile tonight? Yes, always. <laughs> and, and how many Mayfests uh, have you been coming to? I think 130. 130. Yeah. This this man's got some vitality right here. Well, um, I'm only 80 years old, but uh, I plan to go to many more. You know, the Maypole, the, the, the early Germans, you know, they were uh, tribes, tribes. And along came, it was the Dark Ages, and this uh, guy, uh, Saint, well, they made him a Saint, Saint Boniface, who was an apostle, and he Christianized uh, the pagan tribes, you know, and so those pagan tribes, their religion was uh, they tried to explain you know their existence, etc. And so uh, they actually worshipped trees because they were so big, and you know they're trying to find out uh, why they're here, you know. And so uh, what uh, they've been doing for a couple of centuries now, they'll in a, a, they'll uh, take the the, large, the tallest fir tree and strip all the branches off and there's a little bit on the top 
wrapped up with a wreath, and uh, that goes back, you know, uh, many years, but it's still done today. And uh, uh, they say that uh, if you put up a, a uh, maypole, uh, you got to guard it at nighttime because sometimes guys from other towns nearby will steal it. <laughs> and then they, they have a contest to see who could climb the maypole, you know. And hidden in the wreath are uh, sausages and pretzels, ah. you see. So, Good there's, booty. There's a lot to it, a lot to it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is how the Maypole is constructed, and that is the centerpiece of Mayfest here. What's your name, sir? Franz Philip. You live in the neighborhood? Bowmanville. Thanks for coming out, sir. I appreciate it. This is Dane's. This is Dane's belly. We're live here at Mayfest 2011. As you can see, Dane's making his... How many beers? This is my first beer. Dane's been here several years, though. What appearance is this, Dane? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is my sixth appearance. He's got a baby on the way. Yes. A big one. But it's not, it's not, it's in, not. in his belly. Whoa. Well, here we are. Mayfest 2011, ladies and gentlemen. We're here with Scott. Scott Alzma. He's been, uh, what are you, a, a two-time veteran? Uh, this is my second year. I would call myself a veteran, yes. And uh, Scott, uh, what would you say uh, is the biggest attraction for you at Mayfest this year? The big German women. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. You know, I'm, we're going to have to do a time code later because, uh, as you can see, we're, we're measuring time here in beer. This is uh, my first. I gave myself a two beer limit. I said I wouldn't do it anymore tonight. I wouldn't do it. I bought $40 in tickets. Whoa. I paid an, uh, no, actually, I paid an extra $2 for the authentic Mayfest 2011 cup. And I'd like you to know that this man, the economics professor over here, chose the poor amateur Look, move and bought a boot. I went beyond my cost effectiveness and went for the gut instinct in the boot. I believe the intangibles, more gut, more gut on that. I believe, <laughs> I believe. The intangible benefit of having a neck strap. Intangible, fully, that's a big word. Fully outweighs these little minion steins. No pun intended on the outweighs over here. We're here at Mayfest 2011, and it's it's a very exciting time. I'm here with Miss Kelly Conley, and she is a true vet in herself. Kelly, what, what, what number of Mayfest is this for you? Well, it's number four Mayfest, but it's number eight German Fest. And uh, Kelly, I, I'm sure you've been privy to some uh, pretty outrageous antics at uh, pa past Mayfest. Uh, do you care to share the, some of the more outrageous incidents you've witnessed here firsthand? <laughs> sure, the ones that I can remember. One is peeing. <laughs> peeing in front of the door to just right over here on the next block. Peeing in front of Cold Stone Creamery. Well, they're open. I witnessed my friend kick a small dog. Mayfest 2011, we're here with Mr. Zach King. Zach, what would you say about your Mayfest 2011 experience thus far? Well, there's no other place in the world I'd rather be, and I'm celebrating my bachelor party this weekend, and I couldn't think of a better spot. Whoa, bachelor party, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like everyone in the world to know that of all the places in the world this bachelor could be tonight, he chose to be with us right here in Chicago, right. Illinois, Mayfest 2011. What are you looking to get out of uh, German Fest or May Fest, depending on how you look at it? Good beer and good company. Can't ask for more. Uh, you know, the one thing that I regret about May Fest is that it doesn't serve Four Loco. Do you have a comment on that? You know, I've had Four Loco a couple times. It's always been a delicious drink. I've always kept it under control, and that's about any kind of drinking activity. Uh, probably, arguably, one of the most controversial moves about May Fest 2011 is the addition of German strippers to late night entertainment. Uh, do you have a comment on that? You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna discriminate against German strippers. I mean, you got to do what you got to do to make a buck, and uh, everybody's here to have a good time. So whatever that involves, who German cares? Strippers. There's German strippers. That, that's the late night entertainment this evening. Everybody's excited about German strippers. Yes. Woo! Woo! Thank God. Gross. Gross. What, what are your uh, thoughts on Mayfest 2011 this evening, young lady? It's fantastic. I'm drunk. I'm good. Perfect. And strippers. As long as we have strippers, we're in good shape.
And, and and what number of Steiners is that for you? Do. And I do. had a couple of shots before I came. Bad idea. She's Whoa. a cheap date. She is a cheap date. Very cheap. I'm gone in about a minute. Do you have ambitions to have a third? Yes. Ambitions. Here's to ambitions. Cheers to that. Cheers to three. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all she wrote. Dude, you're a shitty cameraman. I'm drinking for all the pregnant ladies. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I am surrounded by one, two, three, four of the most beautiful ladies tonight, and we're here to get their impressions on Mayfest 2011. Ladies, what, what, what can you say about your general impressions about this Mayfest thus far? Mayfest, the lines are too long, and there's bitches who cut in line, but we took them down, so. Bitches. It's all good now. Elizabeth, what do you have to say about Mayfest 2011? Well, it's my first Mayfest. She's a novice. I'm digging it. She's digging, big time. Robin's a big time fan of uh, Mayfest 2011 thus far, too. Uh, I have not seen the Maypole. I have not seen the Maypole. And that is both literal and metaphorical, ladies and gentlemen. She means that in double meaning right there. But, Robin, seriously, what do you think of the music tonight? You know, I'm not really satisfied with the music tonight. I think they should up it a little bit, up the ante. But I did have not heard the polka band yet. Yeah, you know, she brings up a fair point, ladies and gentlemen. Technically, the Polkaholics, while a great band, are not German whatsoever. I might argue that they have more English influence than Germanic, but that's just me. Coming from a true Polak myself, I want a real polka band. <laughs> a true Polak, I forgot. God damn, I love Mayfest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to say that uh, this beverage is for real. Here we are, Urbanize.com with the Polkaholics who just wrapped up a large set here at German Fest 2011. Mayfest, sorry, yeah. that, that was a typo. Mayfest. Gentlemen, what is your favorite thing about Mayfest? Beer and polka. <laughs> Beer, broads, and brats. Ooh, I like that, the three Bs. The three Bs. Uh, that would be mine too. Beer, broads, and brats. And gentlemen, how long have you lived in the Lincoln Square area or the Chicago area? For that matter? Oh. All my life, 53 years. A long time, two 20 plus years. Uh, I've been here for 18 years. And these guys, I gotta say, for my money, put on the best polka show in town. It's a combination of polka, straight up punk, and a little bit of flavor on top of that. How, how, how would you guys describe your sound? We're really messed up. We're just messed up, that's all it is. It's, we try to entertain everybody in every way possible, playing polka, punk rock style. We want to bring polka into the 21st century, screaming! Yeah! If you had one thing to sum up, 2011 Mayfest, what would you say? Outrageous fun. The best time of my life. It was a religious polka beer broad experience. I'm so happy I can't talk. I had a polka tasm, I suppose. Oh! You heard it right here, a polka tasm, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for having us tonight. Thank you.